The following is a message by Senator the Honorable Gloria Thomas, Minister of Social and Community Development, Housing and Gender Affairs, on the observance of World Elder Abuse Awareness Day 2024. Fellow Canadians, on June 15, 2024, Grenada joins with the international community to observe World Elder Abuse Awareness Day. This day was established by the United Nations to raise awareness about the abuse, neglect, and exploitation that all the people experience in our society while promoting respect and dignity for this population. Ladies and gentlemen, elder abuse is defined as a single repeated act or lack of appropriate action occurring within any relationship where there is an expectation of trust that cause harm or distress to an older person. Projections by the World Health Organization indicate that there are 141 million people worldwide who are affected by elder abuse, with one in six older people globally experiencing some form of abuse. Despite this projection, Elder abuse remain invisible due to many factors, which include our stereotypes, discrimination against older persons, and underreporting of abuse. The theme for this year's observance is Spotlight on Older Persons in Emergencies, which focuses on the critical need to protect and support older persons during crisis. Older people are disproportionately impacted during emergencies such as natural or man-made disasters, pandemic, or armed conflict. Existing vulnerabilities of older people such as social isolation, chronic health conditions, and mobility issues are exacerbated during these events, making it difficult for them to evacuate safely receive timely medical care and support services, and access social safety net benefits. Furthermore, there is a potential for an increased risk of elder abuse due to stress and chaos experience during emergencies. Therefore, it is important to address the needs of older people in emergency planning and response. My ministry is developing strategies to address the issues Emergency planning and response are extremely important for the state of Grenada. Based on our vulnerability as a small island developing state, we are faced with many challenges because of our geographical location and the threats posed by global warming. As a government, we take our responsibility seriously in ensuring that the safety and security of all the people are prioritized in our emergency preparedness and response strategies. This includes, inter alia, the development of inclusive policies that ensure older persons are not overlooked. For example, ensuring the continuity of access to healthcare services, developing accessible evacuation plans, providing emergency shelters that meet their needs, offering targeted support to prevent the isolation and abuse of older persons, and training carers and emergency responders and other supportive service providers. To date, the government of Grenada, in collaboration with the Pan-American Health Organization and other stakeholders, have developed the policy on aging and the national standards for the operation of geriatric facilities which address the needs of older persons on a national level and those who are residents of geriatric facilities. Once approved, these documents will facilitate the drafting and enactment of legislation for the care and the protection of older people in the state of Grenada. During the month of May, the Ministry of Social Development and Gender Affairs in collaboration with the World Food Program, facilitated a four-day shock-responsive social 
protection training session that addressed the importance of developing policies to enable adequate and appropriate responses during emergencies for vulnerable groups such as older persons and the children. Furthermore, my ministry has begun discussions with the relevant stakeholders to develop a national disability policy that will address the needs of older people who are disabled and are extremely vulnerable during emergencies. The above mentioned initiative are just some of the measures taken by this government to protect the rights and respect the dignity of older people in the state of Grenada. While the theme for this year's observance of World Elder Abuse Awareness Day is centered around protection of older people during emergencies, we recognize that while we have achieved much, older people in our communities are still experiencing various forms of abuse daily. Statistics from the Central Statistical Office show that Grenada's older population is growing, and it is well established that as the percentage of older people continues to increase, there is also an increase in abuse. Although elder abuse is still underreported, the ministry is aware of an increase in elder abuse cases with physical and verbal being the most prevalent form of abuse. Financial abuse of older persons has also seen an increase during the COVID-19 pandemic and continues this day. Older people experience abuse in their own homes, in public spaces, in residential care facility, and in any other place where they exist. Often, they are abused by someone they know, such as family members or a care. Many people who provide care for older people are unaware that some of their actions are abusive. This shows the need for more sensitization of the public on different types of elder abuse, which include financial, sexual, physical, emotional, psychological, and neglect. The government of Grenada, through the Ministry of Social and Community Development, Housing and Gender Affairs, is committed to protecting the rights and respecting the dignity of older people in the state of Grenada. Through the development of sound policy and legislation, as well as through partnership with stakeholders, we believe that we can create a society that is fair and just for older people. Through the deaths of the elderly, my ministry has begun assisting the Grenada National Council on Aging to engage past members and launch a new membership drive to relaunch this organization because we believe that it has a very important role to play in advocating for the care, protection, and right of older people in the state of Grenada. I must commend the members of staff at the desk of the elderly for their hard work and dedication in providing psychosocial interventions to older people who are experiencing some form of abuse. I appeal to the general public to report any abuse of older persons in your community to the desk of the elderly, the ministry's sub-offices or the nearest police station. Remember, if you see it, it is your duty to report it. My ministry remains committed to providing services to older people in the state of Grenada. We thank all stakeholders who are aiding our older people and encouraging you to redouble your efforts in making the state of Grenada a better place for older people. We also call on all perpetrators of abuse to end all form of abuse now. Older people have contributed to the development of our tri-island state, and we are obligated as a government and the people to ensure that we protect their dignity and respect their rights. In observance of World Elder Abuse Awareness Day, the Ministry of Social and Community Development, Housing and Gender Affairs held, on, uh, held an awareness forum for older persons on June 11th, a sensitization match in the town of St. Patrick's on June 13th, 
and a forum for geriatric carers on June 14th. As we commemorate World Elder Awareness Abuse Day, let us reaffirm our commitment to safeguarding the rights and dignity of older persons in the state of Grenada. Let us ensure that no one is left behind. May God richly bless our nation. Thank you. The proceeding was a message by Senator the Honorable Gloria Thomas, Minister of Social and Community Development, Housing and Gender Affairs, on the observance of World Elder Abuse Awareness Day 2024.